Welcome to the prayer channel. Our faith has firm foundations, key principles by which we live and serve God. Today we're praying through the foundational principle that the Holy Spirit is our comforter. We're reading John 14 verse 26. It reads, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. We thank you that you have left us with the Holy Spirit here on earth. And as Jesus said, that the Holy Spirit is for us. The Holy Spirit is for us to bring to us remembrance of everything that you said and everything that you did, Lord. And the Holy Spirit is here to be our helper, our personal helper, our personal guide by which we live daily, by which we move, by which we get guidance on how we should proceed and on what we should say and on how we should live. Lord, we thank you for the wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that we would move with the presence of the Holy Spirit all around us and within us, Lord. We would understand that the Holy Spirit dwells not only within us, but is all around us, always, everywhere, all at once. Lord, we thank you that you are calling us to have a deeper relationship with the Holy Spirit today and to really consider that the Holy Spirit is here for our benefit, to help us. Jesus, we thank you, you walked on this earth, you lived on this earth, you died and you rose again for our sins. But that wasn't it, Lord. Lord, that wasn't the end, Lord, because you knew that we would live on. Generations and generations would live on, Lord, and you were kind enough, Lord, to send us the helper, to keep us in our faith and to strengthen us, and also to show us the power that you exhibit God. You are a powerful God and the Holy Spirit is our way of experience and seeing the power that you have, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord, that each person, Lord, that prays through would get to know you more. And Lord, where they haven't yet been baptized with the Holy Spirit through evidence of speaking in tongues, Lord, we pray that you would release that gift today, Lord. Lord, even as people desire to know you more and to seek you more, Lord, would you just pour out the special gift, Lord, that you give to your believers, that gift of your presence. Lord, would you give them a desire to seek you in a new way and to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, which is a wonderful gift, which empowers us, which strengthens us, which teaches us how to move forward and how to move in the power of God. Lord, we thank you that the Holy Spirit is also here, Lord, to convict us and to guide us. Lord, it says that we shouldn't grieve the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit dwells within our temple, within our bodies. So as we go about our daily business today, Lord, help us to be very sensitive to the moving of the Holy Spirit to the urgings and the tappings of the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit taps us and speaks to us and guides us, Lord, would we be sensitive to stop and to consider, Holy Spirit, what you're saying and what you're doing. Lord, would you help the Holy Spirit to convict us of all sin, to bring us to a place of genuine repentance, of genuine regeneration and sanctification. Would we be sanctified by knowing the Holy Spirit? Thank you, Lord, that this gift is something that we have, Lord, that we don't have to work for. Lord, as we accept you as our Lord and Saviour, Lord, we receive the Holy Spirit. But Lord, we also know that there's the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Lord, which is the evidence of speaking in tongues and the evidence of experiencing you through the overflowing power that the Holy Spirit brings. Lord, we pray for a deeper reverence of you, Lord, that we would really just pour our hearts out to you and revere you and worship you. Lord, all helped by the Holy Spirit. Lord, even as we worship, we pray the Holy Spirit would be with us in our worship. Lord, even as we seek to live sanctified and holy lives, we pray the Holy Spirit would make things easy for us, would help us to see the truth of your word and would help us be consecrated to you, Lord God, and dedicated to all the works that we need to do on your behalf, Lord. 
Lord, we love you and we thank you that you are moving so powerfully in our hearts and in our minds. We just pray for more of you. And Lord, where there are many who don't quite know you as the Holy Spirit or have never really engaged with you as the Spirit of God on the earth, as a personal helper for each of us, Lord, I pray that you would invite them today, Lord, to seek you in a new way, to invite you in, to give you lordship over their lives. Lord, as people seek to make decisions, big decisions about their future, about what to do next, about where to go, about what to study, where to work, who to marry, who to be in good friendships with, where to worship. Lord, all the different decisions that we make on a daily basis, what to spend our money on, how to save, how not to be in debt. Lord, all these things that are just life things that we work our way through. Holy Spirit, would you guide us? Would you show us what to do? You are welcome, Holy Spirit. Lord, we understand that we need to invite the Holy Spirit in, that you are gentle, Holy Spirit, that we need to invite you in and woo you. So today we do that. We just invite you in. We say, Holy Spirit, we love you. We thank you that you're here as our comforter, as our helper, as our guide. So we just invite you to be present in our lives. Be present in our lives, Holy Spirit. Take over, show us the way, show us what to do, show us how to speak, show us how to live. We give you complete control. Guide us, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, as we pray in our own words about the things that are on our hearts for the next few minutes, Lord, would you quicken the presence of the Holy Spirit around us and within us? Would we get a new sense of the Holy Spirit today as we pray? 